Hey gamers, this is Liz Davidson from Beyond Solitaire, and today I want to show you how to solo Viva Java, the coffee game, the dice game. And this is a roll and write version of Viva Java, which is a game about blending coffee. As with most roll and writes, setup is pretty simple. So in this case, we're going to be playing against an evil corporation that will operate as our AI, and we're going to be playing against Sakhar Incorporated. So their motto is life is sweet, and that is because they're going to keep adding flavor dice, in other words, sickly sweetness to their coffee, and they're going to try to hide their garbage quality with too much sugar. We, on the other hand, are the Night Owl Coffee Company, and our slogan is shakes the jitters, which I think is really funny. I'm not a night owl in real life, but I liked the cute little owl, so we're going with that one. So in this game, we are gonna be competing to see who can be the first one to reach 21 points. The main way to get points in the game is to get a blend. So there are two kinds of blends. There's the featured blend, which it's gonna be kind of like a poker hand where your blend is stronger the more of one type of bean you have on your dice up here. Um, and then a rainbow blend is if we manage to roll one of each color. We can only hold one kind of blend at a time, but the um, evil corporation is actually able to hold both. So we will potentially have double trouble from them down the line. The other thing that you can do when you roll your coffee dice is you can do research. So we have these little research tracks here. Basically every time you get to a large bean, the first time you hit a large bean, you get to do that research power one time. The second time doubles that power. The third time scores you points, but you lose the power. So at the end of the game, you have to decide when you're ready to give up your research powers in order to get points, or do you want to keep using them all the way through? But there's always something to do in each turn. You can always either make a blend or do research. It's just that the blends are where the points really come from. And as we do research, we there's actually a special solo coaster for this. There are many, many more variants and types of powers you can get in the multiplayer game. But here we have a couple of different special powers. So starting here with Flavor Shot, that's whenever I gain any amount of flavor dice, I can gain extra. Hack Their Brew is return a token to gain a token, and then I can return to the supply to mess with the corporation's meter over here, which we're actually going to set to two. That's like a normal level game. So zero is easy, three is hard. And we have field testing. So when I create a blend, I get a research point of my choice. I really like this power, so we'll probably go for it as quickly as possible. It's associated with the color brown here. Here we have flip the bean, so we can flip any die to the opposite face, which is very useful. And then over here we have re-roll any or all dice. And you can do it once or twice, depending on which size bean you're on. And before we fully get going, I just want to give you a quick guide to the robustness of the coffee. So basically the beans are ranked from lowest to highest, with the lowest value bean being white, the highest being black. And then when you want to make featured blends, a decaf, you need at least two of a kind to make any kind of blend. And then you can go regular, bold, and extra bold. So the blends are ranked based on how bold they are and the quality of the bean. So those are the characteristics we're going to be looking to make for ourselves or beat in the AI as we go. So we are going to be first player, and that means the first thing we're going to do is go ahead and roll all five of our dice and see what we come up with. All right, so this isn't the best roll ever. We have, but we have two green. We have a black, a brown, and a white bean. All right, so basically I have a choice here. I can either take these two green beans and make a weak coffee, like a decaf, but with a strong bean and hope that I can hold on to it for an extra turn. Or I can decide to put the beans into research, which would put me in a flavor shot, which I don't really like. So I think my most efficient move is going to be to go ahead and make a blend. So I'm gonna make this featured blend. And you just put five of your dice up here. And that's what I have, I have a featured blend. So I automatically get one point for doing it. And just so you know, featured blends, even if I hold on, will start to degrade each turn. So it's kind of a push or love game of how long do you think you can hold on to your blend? I may not be able to hold on to it at all because Sakar Incorporated starts with not only their own five dice, but with two of these black flavor dice. So they're already rolling higher than I can. And indeed, what's gonna happen is that they're going to beat up my blend with this dice combo. So basically what's gonna happen is the strongest blend that they can make out of this roll is gonna be these two red dice and then this is a wild, so we're gonna count it as a third red. So flavor dice don't actually ever go on the card. So we'll put these back, we get our dice back, and now the bad guys have 
the featured blend. Oh no, how terrible. So we'll put a token on to note that it is theirs. So now they have it and they're gonna get a point. But I did get all my dice back. Okay, so if it had come back to me, I basically would have lost one die from my pool and had to make a decision about whether I was going to go ahead and re-roll my remaining four dice and maybe try to get some research done or see if I can hold on to that blend for another turn. As it is, we're gonna go ahead and roll. The other thing that happens is when the, op the opponent makes a successful blend, their, um, their power meter goes down. So basically every time they fail, they get more and more flavor dice, and every time they succeed, they get fewer. So it kind of balances depending on how the game is going for the AI. All right, so let's roll and see what we get. All right, so this is not a very exciting roll. We got two browns, two whites, one green, it's not great. I'm not gonna be able to make a blend out of this, which means they're gonna score next turn. So that sucks. But what I can do is research. So I like field testing the best because when you create a blend, you get research points also. So it kind of helps you move along multiple meters in the game. So you can only research one color of dye. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna research brown. So now, if I do successfully create a blend in the future, I also get to allocate a research point. So I can kind of work on both ends of things, which is pretty good. So it's Sakar's turn. They're gonna hold on until they're down to a decaf. So they're just gonna remove one die, it's gonna degrade, and they're gonna get two points. So they're not gonna roll at all this turn, but I am. So let's see what happens. Okay, so again, we're not having total success here. Oof, it would be nice if we had a third die of some kind, but we don't. So here are my choices. I can either, well, I'm gonna have to research. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and keep going down the brown track. We're gonna take two more browns. So that's the best that I can do at the moment. These guys are gonna get another two points. Their blend will degrade by one more. So basically they're gonna score at least one more round and then they'll stop. Uh, okay, so let's roll. Okay, so once again, things aren't going my way. This is not the best, but I can at least research green, I guess, or I can take this brown. Actually, let's do that and then get to the second power here. The other thing is that why don't we just write in the points they're worth? So at the end, this would be worth four. The red would be worth four and then three, three, three. So we know the amount of points that we're kind of going for at the end. Sakar is going to continue to enjoy their ill-gotten gains with another two points. So one of the things that's kind of rough about this game is if somebody gets a run on you, it's just awful, honestly. So they're going to take this die. So now they're down to a decaf and they're not going to hang on to that. They only like regular blends are better. So they got their points, but they're going to choose to re-roll. It's just that they get to re-roll with their full set of dice. I might as well just roll right here. So they get these five dice and because they're still at one on their little meter, they're also going to get a flavor die. So let's see what they roll. Oh my God. Okay, so that sucked. They get another featured blend. Bummer. Okay, so this will actually just get turned into one of these dice. I'm just getting my butt kicked here. So they get another point and I don't, I don't know how I'm gonna beat this, but we'll have to try. Okay. All right, so once again, I'm just not really getting the goods. If I had yellow, I could do flip bean or something and have some more manipulation power, but I just don't. I think what I'm gonna do, okay, so notice how there's no black on here. I can actually choose to research black to get a flavor bean of my own. So, like one of these flavors. So I'm gonna go ahead and research black and let myself have a flavor die for my next round. They're gonna degrade by one, but they're still gonna get two points. Mm, okay, and then I'm gonna roll. All right, so once again, things are not looking super hot, but I have enough white to do research into white so I can at least re-roll or start having that re-roll power, which would be pretty good. Okay, so this goes back. They're gonna degrade by one more. They're gonna get two more points. Mm -mm -mm. And then I'm gonna roll. Okay, so let's see. I think what I wanna do 
is, I'm gonna take a risk. I'm gonna reroll this one white die and hope for any color that is not one of these. Oh, yes, it happened. Okay, cool. So see how I have five different colors? That means that I just pulled the rainbow blend. So I get a point for having a blend, which is good. So finally, moving on the points track here. And because I have this brown research power, because I've made a blend, then I also get to put out two research beans. So I'm gonna do the yellow because it allows me to flip dice, which gives me a little bit more flexibility. So I finally have a blend of my own. Yay, so I'm just gonna move it. Actually, I'll just put a token on it, show it's mine. All right, so here's that token. Finally, a blend, I'll take it. Meanwhile, our friends at Sakaar are gonna get another two points. Oy vey. But this will degrade. So now what's gonna happen is I actually do still get to roll my dice because that's the thing that's special about a rainbow blend is I can keep rolling. I don't have to do the push your luck thing. But if I get a really good blend, I'm gonna have to decide to give up the rainbow blend and maybe keep that or kind of see what's up. Okay, so I actually still can't beat their blend or could I? Let me think. Mm -hmm. No, because I can only flip one die. I could do it, but I'd have to give up my rainbow. Oh, by the way, I also in my square round got a point for having that rainbow blend. So that is really good. Hmm. You know what, since I don't love these dice, I do have the opportunity to reroll any or all dice. So I'm gonna go ahead and just take a reroll and see what I get. See, isn't that better? That's really nice actually. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna give up my rainbow blend to kick these guys off of the featured blend because I think I'm gonna be able to hold on to it for a little bit. Because black beans are the most, they're the best one. So a regular black blend is pretty good. Really, really nice. Okay, so I get one point for that. And since I made a blend, I get two research points. I'm gonna put them into something I might be able to score off of later. So let's just do, let's do white. All right, we're looking okay here. So I'm pretty sure the car's been batting a thousand over here, so this would have gone down. Yeah, so they're not actually gonna roll any flavor dice this time up against me. So what will they roll? Oh yeah, and they roll one more, haha. -ha. Okay, so they got a potential for a white decaf, but that won't do. They're only ever gonna make a blend off of regular coffee. So what's gonna happen is when they fail, this goes up by one, and then they roll a die, and I can't do any research on green on this turn. So they sabotage me as well. So that's, you needed to see them fail so you could see that happen. So now when, the next time I roll, well, it changes per turn. So we'll kind of see how it goes. But if I were rolling, they would sabotage me on green. For right now, however, I get two points, woohoo. And my, my blend will degrade a little bit, but we are just gonna hang on. I'm gonna see if I can hold on to that blend for a couple turns, just like they did. All right, so now they're gonna roll again, uh, but they're gonna get one flavor die this time because of this meter. Don't succeed. One, two, three, four, five, yeah. Oh no. Oh, that sucks. Okay, so they got it from me. They had a killer roll and all my dice come back. This will come back too. They've had a successful blend. And then they'll just put whatever dye on here. Oh yeah, this will just go on here to the green. And they get a point. They're gonna get me. And then I get to roll again. So we'll see what I can pull off. Okay, so let's see if there's anything I can do with this. I can re-roll and I can flip. Yeah. Okay. Well, I don't think I can actually beat this blend. I can re-roll. I could do something like keep these whites and hope for more. All right, I'm just gonna re-roll this whole thing. And it still sucked, yay! Okay, so I think what we're gonna do though is I'm gonna take, for research, I'm gonna research the two white dice so that we have extra powers and also we're very close to the end of this little track so that that way I can maybe get some points off of that if nothing else because Sakar is gonna get another two points uh, and their blend will degrade a little bit. My turn. Okay. 
So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep these three black dice and I'm going to re-roll to see if I can beat out their blend. Okay, so this time I got two browns. That's not what I was looking for. So we'll take that second re-roll. And it got me nothing. So I think what I'm going to do though, is I'm going to go ahead and take three flavor dice for next turn. Let's just bulk me up, shall we? All right, so they're going to degrade by one. They're going to get two points. They're really close to the end here. If I can't get this back from them, it's done. But I do get a monster roll. Okay, so let's see. I like the wild. Let's see. Got this, this, this. Do any of these flip to red? Oh, that one does. Okay, so here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go ahead and flip this using my uh, flip bean power, which is yellow, to flip this to make five reds. So I can kick their blend out and get one, two, three, four, five red beans. So I get a point for doing so. And then hopefully I will be able to survive long enough to at least score a little bit more. So they are not gonna play. They do not have any flavored ice this time, but they will. All right, so. Okay, so they didn't get anything. Yay, that's a relief to me. So <laughs> they're gonna get mad. This is gonna come up one. And then I can't take any flavor dice next turn if I were rolling, but that's okay. So my blend will degrade by one, but I get two points. We're just gonna hold tight and see what we can do. So they're gonna take their five dice and a flavor die this time. Okay, so they were able to tie me, but they can't actually beat me. So they still fail. So that means that they're gonna go up to two flavor dice next time and Okay, so now it's a black die that I can't reroll. Again. Sorry, that I can't benefit from again on a research turn. So this will come back here for now. Two points. Now I have to decide this degrade. I think at this point in the game, my only real hope is to just bank that I'm going to be able to hang on for one more round. I really, I don't know. So we're going to take these five. They get two. Bad roll, bad roll, come on. Oh man, all right, they're gonna get me. So they got four of this crappier bean, but there's four of them. So they're gonna kick me out. They're gonna come up here for four. They're gonna just put another die here. Let's say they put the red one just for showing off sake. They get a point, if they get one more point, the game's over. So all I can do is try to get as many points in this round as I can. Let's just change these out. So I'm gonna keep the white, I'm gonna keep the brown, and I'm gonna use my last reroll to see if I can get just one more of either one. Uh, so it didn't give me that. So I was able to just get closer to the end and then they will win. So I've been taken out by the evil corporation that is Sakar Incorporated. So as you can see, this game can get pretty brutal depending on just how the dice roll. And you know, that's that's part of how a roll and write. This is generally a fun game. I like the powers. I like the research aspect of it. So there's always something that you could do on your turn. And that was Viva the Job of the Dice Game. If you enjoyed it, please like and subscribe to my channel. Uh, if you'd really like to be thematic, you can buy me a coffee on Coffee. There is a little link at the bottom in my show notes. And no matter what you choose to do, happy gaming.